Joining us for the latest managerial interview is John Underwood. John, how good does it feel? Home game, three points, good performance. Yeah. It's, been a, it's been a while at home, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Well, since the opening day of the season, it, it feels good because we were determined that it wouldn't just be, obviously, a, a huge win for a Saturday, that we followed that up and backed that up today. And, and, and we did. Um, and we knew... This would be a difficult game. I'm sure there were some supporters who thought, oh, they've beat Haven't away, they'll just turn up and, and roll Bath over and football doesn't work like that and this league doesn't work like that. And and I thought for, for spells today, they were really good. They passed the ball really well. They probably passed it better than we did first half, if I'm honest. But we we looked a real threat over in behind them. That was where we hoped we'd cause them some problems. And what was it, two or three minutes, uh, Alfonso got in behind and... That's what he does. That's what we've seen in him. He, he chases things down, but when he gets in the positions, he's, he's clinical. I mean, that isn't an easy finish to lob it over Clark, who's a big, big keeper, and he's lobbed it. Uh, you know, great finish from him. Great maturity in front of goal, um, and yeah, I, 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 we were pleased in terms of how we stopped them first half. I thought we restricted them to very little. Um, but um, Joe Rains, when he cut in from right back, had an opportunity. But other than that, I thought we stopped them. We had another great chance for Alfonso from Ben's cross and we had a, a good shout for a penalty. But um, So yeah, I thought then second half, I thought we created some more chances. Alfonso made one for himself again, hits the inside of the post. Though I thought we looked a threat all night. I, I don't think... Um, uh, sorry, I think, I think they had opportunities as well, particularly at 2-0. And you always worry that they get a goal and it, and it, and it gives them a lift and they get a chance to come back into the game. And obviously the... The penalty would have been the chance to put the game out of sight. Um, unfortunately, that, that didn't go in tonight for Cooley. Um, but I thought we showed real character as the game went on. We had a few struggling. Freddie had a, a problem with his knee from the first half. Um, Scotty rolled his ankle. Alfonso had a whack on the ankle. Ben, as always, had had a few issues going on. Um, and we, we, I think we, we tired, but I thought we didn't stop working. I, I could see we were tired and we put a lot into Saturday, but... These, these lads have got real character and, and, and a win gives you belief and and, it, and you get in front in games and you don't want to let it go. And Yeah, full full credit for our boys. Um, not an easy game by any stretch, but clean sheet, 2-0. It's um, the makings of a good week. Uh, we spoke uh, last week and, we, and Bake said, you know, confidence is a really difficult thing to get in a momentum. You've now got that. Yeah. You've now got to build that up for the next game. That's it. Like, we've... Like we've always believed in these players, and but things just kept kicking us in the teeth and kept going against us, and and uh, we just felt we needed that one win, and and you know there's no better place to get a win than than having away, and and I think that the confidence that brings, everyone turned up with an extra spring in their step tonight, and it is it's, it's that that then carries you through in games like this. You believe you can hold out, and uh, and we did, and 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 you go from a place where. You wonder where the wind's coming from um, to hopefully a feeling going into Saturday like you don't know how to lose a game. And what we've then got to be careful of is that you get over complacent because both of these wins have been built on hard work. There's no getting away from that. Our boys have run their socks off both games and and um, that's what we need to do. And that's if you if we can keep those energy levels and and, and the togetherness that we've shown in these two games, we will win more than we lose, definitely. And you know, you can't get carried away. It's two wins. It's uh, four days, isn't it? Whatever it is. But um, I think we've built a good platform now, and hopefully we can we can continue the run. You spoke about Alfonso and Ben. Um, how difficult is it for Alfonso to come in and form a partnership with Ben? Is it is it just that it's clicked, or is is it something you're working on? I think if if you're a young forward. Who likes to work hard and run in behind? Ben's probably a dream partner to play with because you know if you only saw Saturday, he dominated their three centre half. They took one off after 25 minutes because they couldn't get near him. And and I was going to say all he has to do, but his job is just to to, to gamble off Ben, run in behind. He's got that pace to to get and, and stretch defences, and and that's that's what you need with a Ben because that's not Ben's game so they are a good fit I said tonight watching the game second half they, they've, they are forming a really good partnership and they, they complement each other well and Ben looks after him up there and, and um, but I can't praise Alfonso enough don't want to get 
don't want to overbuild, you know, build him up too much at this stage. But he's made a really good start in these two games. You know, he was unlucky not to score Saturday. Could have had two tonight. Could have had three tonight actually. Um, and he has got that knack of scoring goals. We saw him in the 19s, in the 23s. Uh, he came and did it in two friendlies for us. And we've just, you know, we've shown faith in him, and he's he's repaid it, you know, already. So you look forward to Concord. Is the lads going to have a bit of a light rest on Thursday? Maybe they've worked hard for the last two games, and yeah, we'll be in, and, and we'll have to. It will be a recovery for a lot of them because they've they, they've put a hell of a shift in Saturday and tonight. Um, yep, yeah, patch a few of them up and um, and look to go again, and and you know, be all the old cliches about. You know, not getting ahead of ourselves and Concord will, will want to come here and turn us over and, and every game in this league is difficult. We say it because it's true. It, it is true. doesn't matter who we're playing. Concord, Ebb's fleet, uh, doesn't matter who we're playing. It will be a tough game Saturday. And Clearly, our, our, our aim is to make it the perfect week and, and get another win. And you then ridiculously start looking up the table and look how many points you are off playoffs rather than the bottom end. But... It's so early, the league's so tight, we're not going to get carried away. We've just got to keep stressing to the players the importance of, of working hard as a team. That's that's what we build it on here, that's what we've always built it on here and and that's what this team's doing at the moment. Brilliant, John, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Aidan. Cheers, congratulations. Thank you.